in this video we are going to discuss a problem on super mesh analysis okay so just like mesh analysis the first step check the number of closed loops here there is one two and three so there will be three meshes okay three meshes and in the second step i will assume a current clockwise current a current flowing in clockwise direction so this is mesh one so my current it is i1 here the current is flowing in clockwise direction so i2 and here also i3 i need to assume okay I assume that all currents are flowing in clockwise direction. Now in mesh analysis what I will do, I will apply Kirchhoff voltage law. So, I am going to write the mesh equation of first mesh. In first mesh the current is flowing in clockwise direction and the current will enter the negative side. Okay, So my first it will be negative 50 plus then for resistor the current will flow like this then it will reach 10 ohm resistor. For resistor it is always positive and as you can see here this resistor is common to both the meshes. So both current I1 and I2 will flow through this resistor. But I am writing this mesh equation with respect to mesh 1. Okay. So I will write I1 minus I2. If I am writing the equation with respect to mesh 2, I will write I2 minus I1. Okay. But here I am taking the mesh 1 and writing the equation. So I1 minus I2. Plus then the current will enter into the 5 ohm resistor. And 5 ohm resistor is common to I1 and I3. So I will write I1 minus I3 equal to 0. Now open the bracket, we will get minus 50 plus 10 I1 minus 10 i2 plus 5 i1 minus 5 i3 equal to 0. As you can see i1 is common. Taking that outside we will get 10 plus 5. It will be 15. 15 i1 minus 10 i2 minus 5 i3 and as you can see this minus 50 is a constant. So I am taking it to the other side. It will be plus 50. So this is my first equation. So this is the equation for mesh 1. Now I am going to write the mesh equation of mesh 2. Mesh 2 is this one. Okay. I draw that here. What is actually meant by mesh? We are applying KVL, Kirchhoff voltage law. That is voltage across 10 ohm resistor plus voltage across 2 ohm resistor plus voltage across 3 ohm resistor plus here you can see a current source. We don't know the voltage. We don't know the voltage across current source. Then how we will write the mesh equation? We can't write mesh equation directly. So when you have a current source in between two meshes, at that time we will say it is a super mesh so in super mesh as you can see there, here the current source is common to both this mesh and this mesh it is common to both the meshes so in super mesh we will write mesh equation by eliminating that branch that current source branch we will eliminate and then we will write the mesh equation and as you know in mesh 2 the current is i2 and in mesh 3 the current is i3 you need to write the mesh equation with respect to that now I am writing the mesh equation after eliminating the current source. The branch which is having the current source. I eliminated that branch. Then I am going to write the mesh equation. So first of all, the current will flow across the 10 ohm resistor. And 10 ohm resistor, the current I2 and I1 both are common. 10 ohm resistor is common to both the meshes. So the current will be I2 minus I1. Then it will enter into the plus 2. So plus 2, the current flowing through that is I2 plus. Then 1. 1 into I3, it will be. Here the current flowing is I3, not I2, okay. So 1 into I3 it will be I3 plus then the current will flow through the 5 ohm resistor and 5 ohm is common to both I3 and I1 so we will write 5 I3 minus I1 equal to 0. This is the super mesh equation. Now open the bracket then we will get 10 I2 minus 10 I1 plus 2 I2 plus I3 plus 5 I3 minus 5 I1 equal to 0. Now I1, I1 is common here and here so minus 10 minus 5 it will be minus 15 I1, then 10 I2 plus 2 I2, it will be 12 I2, then I3 I3, I3 plus 5 I3, it will be 6 I3, equal to 0. So I am going to write the second equation, it is minus 15 I1 plus 12 I2 plus 6 I3, equal to 0, that is my second equation. But we have three measures, so there will be three equations, we got only two equations, now we need one more equation. So across these two ampere current source because this 2 ampere current source i2 current will flow i2 current will flow then i3 current will also flow i3 current will all i3 current direction is like this so like this so i2 is in the same direction of current source direction current source direction and i2's direction are in the same direction but i3 it is in opposite direction so we will write same direction first okay so i2 minus i3 equal to 2 ampere I hope you understood. I2 and 2 ampere current source are in the same direction. So we wrote I2 first. I2 then I3 it is in opposite direction. Therefore minus. 
I2 minus I3 equal to 2 ampere. That is my third equation. So for writing equation, we need I1, I2 and I3. But here there is no I1. So 0 I1 plus I2 minus I3 equal to 2 ampere. Now substitute in calculator. Find the values. Mod, equation, equation. Then there are three unknowns. We need to find the values for I1, I2 and I3. So there are three unknowns. So I plus 3. Then I1 it is 15. Then I2 it is minus 10. Then I3 it is minus 5. Then the constant is plus 50. Then for second equation I1, the quotient here that is minus 15. Then 12. Then 6. Then here it is 0. Then I3. As you can see, there are no I1 term. That is 0. Then I2 it is 1. I3 it is minus 1. Then the constant it is 2 ambient. So 2. So I got the value for I1 it is 20 ampere. I2 it is 17.33 ampere. And I3 it is 15.33 ampere.